Hi guys, it's Joe Zim from Joe Zim's JavaScript blog with a short tutorial on a cool feature in Node and how you can use it with uh, the required JS optimizer to do some really cool things. You'll find a link below the video taking you to a video tutorial that Jeffrey Way from NetTuts created that introduces you to setting up a build script for minifying and concatenating CSS. I saw that and decided to take it one step further and try to truly automate it. The uh, first thing you need to know is that uh, required JS comes from the tool known as R.js or the required JS optimizer that can concatenate, build, and minify JavaScript and CSS. Uh, what Jeff did in his video was set his environment up so that every time he wanted to build his CSS files for deployment, he would just run R.js and point it to a config file and it would build his CSS up. So first let's look at what R.js does for CSS and how it works. So right now we have two different uh, CSS style sheets and they're, we want them to be concatenated into one file and minified into this. Uh, the way it can, knows to concatenate more than one file is with the import. So since I have this in here, and then we should make style.css the main uh, style sheet that we point to. And it will import reset.css before it and get it together into style.min.css. Uh, so, right here, this little block here, is the configuration that you would send in to r.js in order to tell it to work. So CSS in is the main style sheet that you want. Out is the output that you want so which file you want it in. Which is style up in the CSS. And this optimized CSS um, takes you can exclude it but then it won't minify to get rid of unnecessary lines and spaces. Um, but if you so if you include it and put it to standard, it'll just minify it the way you would normally expect. Um, now, like I said earlier, Jeff uses RJS as the command line tool, but I'm going to use it programmatically through Node uh, and make it so that every time I make a change to either one of these files and save it, it will automatically update style.bin.css. We're going to give a demo right now. We're going to start by deleting this file. And here I'm in the build folder where we're going to run watch.js, which is the file we want. Okay, so it, I'm using console.log to show where we are. So right now it's watching these files. So we're going to go ahead and make a small change. I'm just going to get rid of the H6 here and save it and there it goes, it says it's been updated, optimized it and there we go, it saved it right here, there's no H6 you can even do it with the, the reset, I'll change this just to a star there it's been updated, and there's a star up front now and then we can just control C to end to end this. So first let's go look at watch config. Uh, this is the configuration file that I use to set up the, the to watch the files and then run the optimizer. So right here is it's going to be an array of these objects. So right here the first thing is the watch property which just has an array of file names that we want to watch. And if any of these files change, we'll run the optimizer with this configuration object. I already described the configuration. So let's just go look in here. So we need one thing first is we need require JS. Um, so you can do that just with the MP, npm install or required JS and that'll work just fine. Then you need to require it. Uh, FS is the file system layer that's already built into the node, built into node, so you don't need to 
uh, install it, it's already there. We're going to need that for watching the files. Config, this is just pulling in this uh, configuration file. I need to do module to exports. So all it is is the array with the objects in it. Um, okay, here's the function that we run every time. So first we'll go down here and look. Uh, it's it's uh, embedded for, or inline for loop embedded. It's an embedded for loop. So first it loops through all of these. So it's this outer array, and then for each one it also loops through all the watch files. And so for each watch file it calls uh, set file watch, which is my function that I created right here. So you set ending the file name and the configuration object. So all we need to do is use fs.watch file, give it the file name, and a callback function to, to call whenever a uh, file changes. That file changes. Um, it's mostly console.logs in here. Um, so what it does is it runs required.js.optimize. And so you just hand in that configuration and call a function for every time it actually, when it finishes the optimization. And that's all there is to it. So it's cool, simple, and automatic. You can also do the same thing for the JavaScript and watch all those files and automatically compile them, whatever, whenever you make a change to any of them. But, um, generally you're going to be having more files, especially if you're doing a required JS um, application, because then it's all the files are separated into different modules. But, you could if you want to. Um, there's a couple, there's a big drawback to the way I'm doing this and watching, because now, what I've been doing is using index HTML and just automatically linking to the one. I mean, you don't have to, but if you do it like this, then you only have one line of CSS. So whenever you're inspecting the CSS in your browser, it'll say it's in this one file on line one, when really you want it to be saying it's installed as CSS on line eight. But, so you can set it up however you want it to do. You can do like you would normally do and <coughs> just link to the multiple files in this and then just update it when you're actually deploying it. And then you just don't have to build right away. Anyway, so that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. <coughs> God bless and happy coding.